Well, um, we know that patients with even early stage non-small cell lung cancer have a high chance of, of recurrence after resection of their disease. Um, and unfortunately, uh, many patients will, will die of cancer um, despite what was thought to be a curative surgery. So we have been using adjuvant chemotherapy to improve um, survival in, in patients with early stage lung cancer, typically for stages two and three. Um, and we know that it does improve survival, but despite this, there, there's still a, an unfortunately a high rate of recurrence. So um, we, we are always thinking, could there be better treatments for patients? And specifically in the EGFR population uh, of patients, um, we have fantastic therapies for patients um, with, with EGFR inhibitors. Um, however, so far the, the trials haven't shown us that there is a, a, a clear benefit to, to using EGFR inhibitors in the adjuvant setting. So the, the Adura study is um, a, a trial that tries to fill this, this need of, of for, for, um, for improving adjuvant therapy for patients. And again, specifically, this is for EGFR uh, patients. So it was designed for patients uh, who have early stage non-small cell lung cancer, um, who have a, a complete resection of their disease. And it was for stage 1B through 3, um, and uh, to 3A. And, um, and those patients, after they underwent resection, were eligible to receive standard of care adjuvant chemotherapy. Um, as clinically indicated. And then they were randomized to receive osimertinib at the standard dose we use for patients with metastatic disease, 80 milligrams um, a day, um, or placebo. And that was given for uh, a goal of three years. Um, and then the primary endpoint of the trial was disease-free survival. And secondary endpoints, of course, importantly included overall survival. So currently, osimertinib is approved for patients with advanced or metastatic disease. We have really two um, areas that we use osimertinib currently um, in these patients with advanced disease. Um, if patients receive um, a first or second generation EGFR inhibitor, and then after the time of progression develop a T790M mutation, um, osimertinib is indicated in that situation. More recently, um, the FLORA trial showed us that um, using osimertinib as the first therapy, as first-line therapy for more adv for advanced disease, showed an, an improvement in overall survival and progression-free survival compared to um, standard, um, at the time standard, EGFR, TKIs, erlotinib, or gefitinib. Um, so that's now also uh, approved for use as first-line therapy in the United States. Um, so we really have two roles, <laughs> potentially, for osimertinib. If another EGFR TKI is used first, we can consider it as for second line if the patient develops a T790M mutation. Otherwise, we, we think about it as, as first line use. And, and actually, practice really has evolved to become, um, that it's become a first line drug uh, for, for most patients and, and most providers would uh, tend to choose that as the first treatment for patients with advanced disease. But currently, it really has no role. Otherwise, we, we haven't seen data um, until this point um, in earlier stage disease. So, so far just in the advanced setting. So this I think was an incredible study um, and really I, the findings um, just show us that patients with early stage disease um, who do receive osimertinib as adjuvant therapy have a significant um, improvement in disease-free survival. And, and not just statistically significant, but really I, what I think is really clinically significant, um, the, uh, the hazard ratio is 0.17. So really a, a major improvement in disease-free survival. Um, and, uh, and, and I think potentially something that, that, that may change practice because of that improvement. Um, they, that, again, disease-free survival was the primary endpoint of this trial, but Overall survival is so important in patients when you're looking uh, in early stage disease and where, where we're trying to cure patients. Um, overall survival is, uh, is, is very immature at this point. Um, and so it's very hard to make much of it, although the hazard ratio at this point is um, 0 0.40. So maybe suggesting that there might be a benefit, but, but extremely mature, immature um, at this point. Um, now, the, the investigators also looked at many different subsets of patients on this study. 
um, including different uh, stages. So again, it was for patients with stage 1B through 3A, and they looked at all three of those stages, and all of the stages seemed to benefit, maybe less so with the 1Bs, but still there was a, a benefit in, in, in the direction of uh, um, favoring osimertinib. Um, and so it really showed that uh, regardless of the stage, regardless of the uh, mutation type, and regardless of the EGFR mutation type, um, whether patients received or did not receive adjuvant chemotherapy, all patients seem to, to benefit from, from what we've seen so far. So again, a really exciting study, really impressive results that I think probably will change practice. I think absolutely this is, a, this is the type of data that um, requires us to start talking to our patients about this, um, showing that we have this information now that osimertinib improves disease-free survival. Now, I think the a really important outstanding question is overall survival. You know, if, if patients recur and they get osimertinib at progression, that's again, typically what we would do if patients recur and have more advanced disease, does that provide the same degree of survival as using it in the adjuvant setting? Um, and we don't know that yet, um, but I think with this significant of uh, a disease-free survival benefit, I think it's now becoming a, a standard and, and something that needs to be discussed with patients. And absolutely, if a patient's interested in, in taking this, this uh, adjuvant therapy, in addition to standard adjuvant therapy, um, because I think that's something we can't forget, chemotherapy um, was allowed and commonly given on this trial. So I think still, if a patient's eligible for chemotherapy from or what we, we know from prior trials, I still would, would um, recommend that but I think this is something that I also would discuss with patients and recommend to, to appropriate patients. So this is such an amazing study and, and showed such great results. It was um, given after chemotherapy um, was, was used. So it, it doesn't mean we can replace it. Yeah, I think that's very important.